Right, okay, yeah, let's start this off with what I think is quite an interesting fact. Did you know 60% of tour players use mallet style putters? Yeah, I think that's a pretty interesting fact and quite a surprising one, but it just shows that even at the top end of the game, that forgiveness, that MOI that is provided, that stability that is provided from traditional mallet style designs such as the Spider, are still the choice of the tour professionals. But what I am told is, is those tour professionals and many average golfers would prefer the look of the more traditional blade-like putters. But as you know and I know, well most of us will know, trying to use one of those blade like putters is not as easy as it looks. Yeah, so we're gonna look at three different putters. Two of them will be coming from the truss style of putter and we'll discuss them shortly. And one will be coming from the Spider, the new Spider S, which we all know about Spider, we all know how well it's performed, we all know how well it is uh, sold in terms of product. But there's very much a new design in terms of the Spider S. We'll be testing all three on course. But first of all, let's just take a look, a closer look at the design differences and what is Truss all about? Right, well, let's start things off by looking at the uh, the Truss product because that is by far the most, uh, well it's a new kit on the block and it's by far the most different than what we've seen. And I'll have a look at the logic behind it and where they came up with this radical design. Uh, they tested, they being Taylor May, tested 40,000 golfers putting strokes, all different levels, all different types of ability. And there was one common theme that they found, and that was the common point of strike on puts was center to toe, okay? So, and I think again, I can on a personal level, I can I can vouch for that. That's certainly, I often look down on my uh, at address and I seem to have the ball, uh, my contact point will always be towards that toe end. What they've tried to do is address that situation. And in the Spider S that we'll get to shortly, it is very much all about stability, all about MOI. It's a very forgiving putter so that no matter where that strike point is across the club face, the the, the role will be effectively exactly the same. So it's forgiveness that they've achieved there. But in the truss, what they've done is they've they've built a truss is obviously uh, that I know is from the building game, is from the, a roof truss. And what they've tried to do is there are two points of contact. So there are, rather than traditionally, this is a centre shafted putter, rather than a traditional uh, sort of one point of contact that we'd normally see, you can see with the two uh, elements of the truss, the angle of the truss, it connects in two separate points. And it makes sense. It makes sense that that would be more stable than having one point of contact. I think that's fair to say. They also become, and I think all of these putters will be the same, if I can just get that out on a, uh, a balance point, they're all very much face balance putters so again what they've done is what they've achieved again you can see it just a little bit of a close-up there uh, on this more fang like putter you'll see once again those two points of contact there very much different than what we're used to seeing i've got to say in terms of looks the putters look superb in terms of the finish i really do think that in terms of the truss element it was a real shocker when i opened the box it's a it's so different it's so so different than what we're used to seeing but the thing that I like about it is that I kind of, again, I like a story when a story has got some logic to it and you can sort of say, okay, two points of contact, definitely give more stability to that club face. Yeah, I get that. I think that makes sense. We can all agree. That seems a fairly common sense style of approach. So for me, I get it. Whether I can get over the looks is another thing. The center shafted one is very different and we'll talk about this when we get on the course and the fang like putter that I'm going to call it not noticeable from uh, above at all that there's these two points of contact. So they're very much different visually, but we'll see what it does in terms of stability and have they achieved what they intended to do, which is make the more, the better player profile, if you like, the blade style putters 
with the forgiveness is what you'd find in a mallet. That's what they've tried to do. And then of course, we'll have a close look at this, which is a whole new design on the Spider. It's called the Spider S. There's a lot of tungsten waiting. Either side, if you can just have a little close up on that, they're the two points of contact that I'm looking at there. And then there's again a tungsten back bar in here, which again is all about stability, all about forgiveness, all about MOI. It is the highest uh, rating MOI putter within the, the, the Spider range. So that's enough talking. Let's get out on the course. That's what they say they do. I kind of, like I said, in the trust elements, I kind of, I always listen to a story and I always first of all have to process it and see if it makes any sense. It makes sense. It could work. The fact is, does it work? Let's get out on the golf course and, uh, and do some testing. Right, okay, so yeah, we're back down at Conway Golf Club, and the idea of today's video is, uh, well, it's not to test the putters in terms of performance, because reality is, that would be testing the performance of my own putting stroke, so there's lots of variables in there. But what we're going to try and establish is whether or not truss works in the sense of, do I think it offers any more stability by that double point of contact, if you like, which is what Taylor made are claiming. And I'll also briefly talk about how these things look at address out on the course because, like I said, it's quite an unusual one from the top of the ball. Now, they're probably going to blow away. We're going to start things off with the putter that I most like in terms of its design and style, which is the fang-like putter that I'm referring it to. I think it's the TM1 from reading on the bottom of here. This one from above, in terms of that double point of contact, looks no different to me. It's very, very similar to what I'd expect to see from the top of a putter. It's stunning in the finish. It sits very nice at a dress. And it's a very much a confidence-inspiring putter. Let's start thinking, oh, wow. That would have been interesting if we'd have hold it. Yeah, let's just check audio is on. So I started off with these on the practice screen, and as you can see, rolled quite a few putts. And again, very difficult to test the type of the, how the putters perform in terms of roll and everything else because on winter greens here at Conway at the moment, so we're never going to run ultra smooth in terms of being able to, like I said, test out this product in its full. But what I'm able to do, once again with a putter, and all I can sort of test it on is, uh, is pick a line. It feels very firm off the face, really like it. Three different rolls there, three nice rolls, line that I intended. So for me, that does what it says. I'm going to switch right over to the ultra stable um, spider putter. And we already know this thing from previous models is, like I said, incredibly stable. And I want to switch right over to this, so opposite end of the spectrum. We know, so what Taylor made are suggesting is that lots of people on tour, 60%, are playing a mallet style putter but would prefer the more traditional look, so a traditional blade, really. And that's what they've tried to achieve with, uh, with Trust, don't forget, is that stability that we're going to find in the likes of this putter. There's a real difference in terms of the face inserts on these as well. That's a real interesting one for me. I'm going to move this one out of the way. Um, totally different in terms of the feel. It's probably, what I would suggest, a lot softer with the Spider and opposite ends a lot firmer feel in terms of what's coming off of the truss models. There is without doubt a totally feel at address as well. Totally different feel at his address and nearly hold that one. In terms of this element of stability and it's how you quantify stability and what it does in terms of the club face. Like I said, the only real way to test this is by measuring on some scientific Sam putting lab, something like that, to see if kind of things like we're keeping that club face more square at impact is the kind of uh, MOI working in terms of are we getting the roll off the club face evenly when we sort of got those off-centre hits. 
So that's the scientific method. This is very much based on uh, opinion rather than fact. But they are very, very different in their feel off the face. And for me, in terms of overall stability of a club head, in terms of when it's moving sort of back and through the ball, then the Spider models are going to take some beating because they're exactly that. We're going to have a few more puts with the truss models and just concentrate on that face and see if I think, like I said, that it's keeping it just that little bit more stable through my stroke. And that's the interesting bit and hard to claim. In terms of Spider S, I almost feel like I won't hit another shot with it because it does exactly what I'm expecting it to be. Ultra stable, super, it just sits at a dress. I mean, I'm not a lover of the looks of this thing, to be quite honest with you, but in terms of sitting at a dress, just you stand to the ball, it is very, very nice indeed, this thing. I still want to quantify the truss elements and the stability bit. So I'll hit a few more puts before I give my assessment. It's a real interesting put of this is so this is TB2. It's this is where from a dress you really do notice that two pronged uh, sort of attachment to the blade like so it's a blade like putter. It's a cent center shafted blade putter, but we've got this uh, twin points and that's really notable from above. If I'm honest with you, when it first came out of the box, I didn't like the look of it at all. The performance on the greens, however. Sort of changes your opinion on it, and that's the thing again. I think looks is always, I mean, don't get me wrong, you've got to have confidence above the ball, especially with putter. But it's something that really defies what I first seen. I thought I would never sort of entertain, if you like, in terms of a putter. But it really is, and I think to be honest with you, if anything, it's we're draining them. If anything, this is more noticeable in terms of stability and what it does than I noticed in the tm1 was it called it's really noticeable in this that it's it's got that centimeter claiming again the ability to reduce twisting and i think like i said let's not get too serious and bog down with all this. this is an opinion it's not fact like i said but i think there's something in it with this i really do and i think it's very noticeable in this putter like i said more than tm1 in terms of overall club head stability it's in the bulk and mass of the malice in the spider but it's a real interesting change, this. And I've got to say that for my mind, and I go back to what I said originally in the intro, you've got to base a lot of this thing on um, does it, when, when a story comes out, can you make it work in terms of your head? And I think in terms of what they're suggesting it does, yeah, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Surely it would keep that head more stable. I'm playing out on the greens. I've got to say, you know, it really does. It's asking me a question. One that I never thought I'd be asking myself because when I first looked at them, it was a very difficult one to get my head around. But overall assessment, we can't go on too much with putter reviews. It is what it is. It's opinion based. Truss has got something going there. It's really interesting. I'd be interested to know how many players start to put these models in their bag on tour. And I think that'll be a much bigger indicator of how much stability Trust gives than an opinion of an average golfer like me. But excellent finish, both products. I'd have no qualms in sort of bagging any of these. They're top end in terms of price. But if putter is on the agenda for you, you're willing to pay top dollar for it. It's an important club in the bag. Then seriously, you need to give these a go.